question 99 from CSIR June 2020 so consider the functional g of y is integral is given with the boundary condition and then we have to find which of the following statements are true so first we have to say the j of y is given as 0 to pi y prime square minus of k y square dx with the boundary condition y 0 equal to 0 and y of pi is y the value of y at pi is equal to 0. So if we consider suppose f of is equal to this functional y prime square minus k y square. So you can rewrite the integral as g of y integration 0 to infinity uh, 0 to pi function x y y prime dx so Euler equation gives that del f del y minus d dx of del f del y prime it should be equal to 0. So, in our case, it will be minus of 2 k y minus d dx of 2 y prime, which it is equal to 0. to y prime equal to 0. So, we can rewrite this equation as y of double prime plus k y is equal to 0. Now, consider case 1. So, in that we will see that for k equal to 0. So, this is our so, we will see that for k equal to 0 so y of double prime is equal to 0 right so I can write this y equal to ax plus b y prime double differentiating uh, integrating so we have the condition that y of 0 equal to 0 equal to this y at pi so from here we will get that a equal to 0 equal to b so then we have this y x equal to will be 0 which is a trivial solution now consider when we will so here k equal to 0 so in our second case it will be k for k equal to s2 so, k equal to minus mu square where mu is greater than 0, right. So, our equation will be y double prime minus mu square y equal to 0. So, the what will be the general solution? This y x equal to a e to the power mu x plus b to the power minus of mu x. So, putting the boundary condition, we will find that a plus b equal to 0. Uh, so, if we put over this equation over here that and it will be, so this is a plus b equal to 0 from the boundary condition we find and at y equal to 0. So, a to the power mu x plus b e to the power mu minus mu x. So, from here you will get a equal to b equal to 0.
then we have this y of x which is equal to 0 a trivial solution for k equal to mu square so it is the case 3 where we are saying that k equal to mu square where mu is uh, greater than 0 so our differential equation will be y of pri double prime plus mu square y equal to 0 so from here the solution we can get as m square plus mu square equal to 0 or m equal to plus minus i mu so then what will be the solution y of x is equal to a of cos mu x plus b of sin mu x so putting the boundary condition we will get that a is equal to 0 and 0 equal to b of sin n pi so here we can find that either b equal to 0 or sin of n pi equal to 0 right it is sin of uh, mu pi so, so we have the sin of mu pi b equal to 0 or sin of mu of pi equal to 0 which is nothing but the sin of pi right so from here mu equal to n where n belongs to the set of integers and y x equal to sin of b of sin x actually of sin n x y equal to b sin n x right so let's check with the option that so in the option one it is saying that it has a unique extremal for all k belongs to r so you can see that it has not a unique extremal so in our case the option one is incorrect uh, so option 2 it has uh, at most one extremal if root k is an, not an integer so for the case our k equal to mu square okay so k equal to mu square we have written this for mu equal to greater than 0 so k equal to you can write that k equal to n square or n equal to root k right so where n belongs to the set of integers so root k will also belong to the set of integers it's also an element of the set of integers so for this we will get infinitely many solution for k belong is an element of the set of integers then we have the infinitely many solutions but if k is not an integer so if k is not belongs to this not an element of the set of integers then we get then it will be b equal to 0 and y of x equal to 0 then another trivial solution so we have we will have at most one solution when k is not a uh, element of the set of integers at most one at most one solution so in our case the option 2 is correct but option 3 is it has, it has invented the uh, many extremals yes it is also correct and the four option is an unique extremal if k is an integer it is an incorrect option so in our case the options 2 and 3 
they are the correct options question number 100 for the Fred Holm integral equation so we have to find which of the following statements are true so first write the integral equation y of s lambda 0 to 1 e to the power s e to the power t y of t dt let us consider c1 be the integral 0 to 1 e to the power t y t dt so the equation can be written as y of s lambda e to the power s c1 so now if c1 is equal to 0 you can see the option number 1 so if c1 means the integral 0 to 1 e to the power t y of t equal to 0 then y of s equal to lambda of e to the power s multiplied by 0 which is 0 so option 1 is false it has a non-trivial solution and option 2 is correct that it is as a only the trivial solution so this is a trivial solution now check with option 3 so it has a non-trivial solution for lambda not equal to 0 so here we have a so this is 1 cross 1 system where we can write that 1 minus lambda alpha 1 1 multiplied by c1 equal to beta 1 so let us consider this is equation number 1 so if beta is equal to integral of 0 to 1 g1 ft dt so if we consider beta is equal to this integral equal to 0 so alpha 1 1 will be integral of 0 to 1 g1 f1 dt which will be e square minus 1 by 2 so our equation 1 will look like equation 1 will look like this 1 minus lambda of e square minus 1 by 2 c1 equal to 0 for non-trivial solution we, we must have c1 not equal to 0 then lambda is equal to 2 by e square minus 1 it is the only eigenvalue okay so for this is the only eigenvalue for which we get the non-trivial solution so option 3 is also false lambda is not equal to 0 but for lambda equal to this 2 by e square by minus 1 so this is the only eigenvalue which will have a non-trivial solution and it has a non-trivial solution option 4 only if lambda is equal to 2 by e square minus 1 and the integral is not equal to the c1 is not equal to c so uh, in our case this is the uh, option 4 is correct so we have the two option that is option 2 and option 4 is the correct answer is the this following two statements are true